Is the Canon R5C the camera for you in 2024? Is this camera still relevant? Is it, is it just an R5 with a fan? Does the two operating systems, does that make it more optimal to use? Is it an all around good camera? Is this the best hybrid camera on the market? Stay tuned for my opinion. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you what my main use of the Canon R5C is and is sports. It's photography. I have a studio where I do most of my birthday shoots, holiday shoots, things of that nature. But my real love, my real passion is sports. I love to shoot sports. So the Canon R5C having that R5 capability to shoot up to 20 frames per second electronically definitely helps me out. Also, that 45 megapixel sensor allows me to crop in when I may need to. You may have an unlimited budget on lenses that allows you to buy any RF lens that you want. And let's be real. Those RF lenses can get pretty pricey. The hidden gem, the hidden feature of this camera that is so awesome is it allows me with RF lenses to shoot not only in full frame mode, but I can crop in to a Super 35 as well as a Super 16. And with shooting sports like football, soccer, even baseball, that is phenomenal. I can take my 70 to 200 lens and I can crop in and shoot at Super 16 or Super 35 wherever I may see fit. That is a game changer for me. So a camera like this actually saves me money. Like Canon just released the RF 120 to 300 2.8. I don't have to buy that. I have the Canon R5C. I can use my 70 to 200. I can crop in the Super 35 or Super 16 and I'm good. And that feature alone is what leads me to the conclusion that the Canon R5C is still in 2024, almost two years after its release. It's a stellar option for anyone that's looking to produce high quality content, be it talking head, sports, baby shower, wedding, whatever it is. Now, a lot of people might think that this camera, oh, it's just an R5 with a fan on the back, but that's where you're sorely mistaken. And also this camera has a vast array of codecs that you can shoot from, from XF AVC at 422 10-bit to MP4 at 422 10-bit. I must admit, one of my favorite is the 2K. That's a 2048 by 1080. I love that. You'll find this mode anytime you crop in and use Super 16. Also, the recording modes are very intricate. From a, You can shoot in a normal recording mode, slow and fast motion, even slow and fast motion with a separate audio wave file. You've got pre-recording, frame, and interval. This camera, the possibilities are endless. And I haven't seen anything else on the market that closely resembles this camera. Now, it does take the CF Express Type B cards, and these cards are super fast which allows you to get right back into the shooting action if you're shooting electronically 20 frames per second. It does have two card slots, one for a standard SD card, and of course the other for the CF Express Type B card, fully articulating screen. And you might think with the fan on the back of the camera that keeps it cool and keeps it from overheating, that it was gonna mess up with the weight distribution, but it really does. Once you put the lens on the front with the fan on the back, the weight distribution is perfect. I've owned my fair share of Canon cameras, and honestly, this is my favorite camera to use. The one drawback to this camera we do have is the battery life. It does take the Canon LPN-H battery. These batteries leave a lot to be desired in terms of longevity. So invest in some batteries. Or you can go the PD route. Now this camera can easily be rigged up if you wanna go for a minimal type rig with just the lens and the cage. Or if you wanna do it big, lens, cage, monitor, mic, all of that, it can all be done. This camera is the perfect brain for the running gun shooter. So my conclusion of course is, in 2024, this camera, the R5C, is still a very viable camera to take with you into 2024. No matter what you shoot, from weddings to sports, stills, bro, this camera can do it all. So thank y'all for joining me, the Barber Mosaic. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Fix it up in the comments. Anything you, anything you want to say about this camera or any questions you have about the camera, just let me know. And I'll definitely respond to you. Now, it's time for you to get a coffee. Yes. And if you're ever in Florence, South Carolina, please stop by Lula's Coffee. 